All right, you guys, this uh, lesson is the first part is histograms. The next one we'll do uh, box and whisker plots. Um, so a histogram is just a, a fancy bar graph where the bars are all uh, squished together. There's no spaces in between them. So it's a bar graph that's used to display the frequency of data divided into equal intervals. So we'll do a few of them here. So bar, the bars have to be equal with and... Um, and should be touching each other but not overlapping. You guys have all done this before and the heights of the bars indicate the frequency of the data values within each interval. Okay, so we're going to create a couple of frequency tables from the data here uh, and then it will take those frequency tables and create histograms um, or bar graphs. Okay, all right, so don't let all these numbers uh, confuse you. These are the ages of the 100 U.S. Senators at the start of the 112th Congress uh, on January 3rd, uh, 2011. So let's just slide that up right there. Okay, so first we have to create a, a frequency table and the data of the values range from the smallest is, th and these are already in order, so good thing you guys. So the smallest um, age is 39 and the oldest is 86. Yowie! Can't imagine an 86-year-old senator, but they're up there. So anyways, um, so we'll use interval widths of 10, okay? So we'll go, uh, and we'll start with the first interval being 30. So we'll go in the, the, in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, okay? So there they are, 30 to 39, 40 to 49, 50 to 59, and so on right here. These are the same widths. They have to be the same widths right here. If they're not... Uh, then we can't make a frequency table. Okay, and then we're just going to count them. That's all this is right here. So how many of them are in the 30s? Well, just these two right here, and you'll see I highlighted them, you guys. So there's two of them. Okay, see them? They're highlighted in blue. All right, and how many are in the 40s right here? It's all of these right here. Already counted them up. There's 10 of them right there in the 50s. There's 30 of them. There's 37 of them in the 60s. Yowie, and there's 18 in the 70s. And then finally... There's some, <laughs> there's some 80s in there. So there's three of them in the 80s. All right, so we're going to uh, check that the sum of these frequencies adds up to 100. So we're going to add all these up and make sure that they do add up to 100, and they do. Okay, so now we're going to use the frequency table to make our histogram. Okay, so here's our histogram over here. Okay, so down here. So your book, I noticed, doesn't do this. All other textbooks, I, I noticed, is if it starts at zero right here, then th if they're not equal right here, so you see this starts at zero, and then all of a sudden it's at 30. And then so all other books had this kind of springboard sort of in here that sprung us up to the 30s right there. So if you're in my class, I'd like you to do that right there. I know your textbook doesn't. It just starts at 30 right there. So just you just get a straight edge and put, leave a little space from there to there, and then you just make it straight edge up, down a little bit more, and anyways right there. So notice uh, this is the same weight width as this. This is the same width and the same, same, same. And this is all our ages down here, okay? Always, 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 this goes on the bottom and this goes on the side, okay? Think of your um, of your graph. It always goes X comma Y. And so this is always my X axes and this is always my Y axes, okay? And then histograms always have a title up here. So in this case, it's the age of the U.S. Senators at the start of the 112th Congress. Over here says frequency with uh, the numbers going up at equal spacing. So if you're in my class, I'm going to require you to do everything with the straight edge as you're building these. None of this freehand stuff. I won't take it. I want it to look uh, just nice, you guys. So my kids do this. I do this right in class. I build this with you guys in class. Okay, and then uh, down here are the ages. So everything's labeled right there. Okay, so we're going to make a bar that goes up right here for the 30s. It's only going to go up to 2. So probably right about there it's going to go up. And then the next one's going to go up to 10. And then the next one's going to go up to 30. And then up to 37. So there they all are right there. Okay, pretty groovy. And notice how um, uh, each bar is sort of a different shading right there. Okay, so if you can do that, shade it in different colors, just so you can distinguish the bars nicely that way. Okay, looks pretty cool, huh? All right, here's another one. Listed are the scores from a golf tournament. Okay, I know nothing about golf except you hit a ball. And anyway, I, some people like it. I just don't see the point, but I think it's whatever. <laughs> Sorry. 
So we're going to create a frequency table, and this data ranges from 68 all the way up to 78, and I guess a lower score is better. So we're going to use the interval of width uh, 3 starting at 68. So 68, think of your fingers, count with your fingers by 3. 68, 69, 70. So that would be our first interval. And then we start off with 71, 72, 73. I'm using my finger. So there's three in between these ones, okay? Has to be the same width right there, okay? Then we're going to count all the ones that are in 68 to 70. So you'll see I highlighted them up there. So there they are, 68, 69, 70. Three of them, all the ones with uh, 71 to 73. There were four of them. You can see them highlighted up there. 74 to 76 are seven. And then finally two. And then let's check that the sum is the same as these guys, that they add up to 16 right there. Okay, there are 16 numbers, so the frequency has to be the same as how many there were up here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use the frequency table to create a histogram. Okay, so remember, this is always the x-axis, this is always the y-axis, and this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. Okay, your book doesn't do the little springboard, but if you're in my class, I would like you to, because you don't just start at zero and all of a sudden, hey, 68. Okay, so it has to have something. I mean, if this is zero and this is one, you know, and this is two, this is starting at zero on the y-axis. So if it's not starting at zero on the x-axis, you need some sort of little springboard right there, okay? All right, so then we're going to go, this one's going to go up to three, this one's going to go up to four, I'm getting these numbers here, then seven, and then up to two right there, okay? Easy enough right there, okay? That's a good-looking little uh, histogram. All right, so then we get to a piece where it says, estimate the mean of the data set displayed in each histogram, okay? So here's the first one that we did, and so what we do to estimate the mean, we first find the midpoint of each interval and then multiply that by the frequency. So the midpoint would be from 30 to 39 and then divided by 2. If we add 30 plus 39 divided by 2, that would give us the midpoint. That's at 34.5. The midpoint of this one is 44.5, or 54.5, 64.5, and so on. And then we multiply that by the frequencies. This one went up to 2. This one went up to uh, 10 up to 30. I think this was 37. This one was 18, I believe, and this one was 3, I believe. Okay, so to f we um, find the midpoint. So to find the midpoint, we add the two endpoints divided by 2, okay, times the frequency. So this one went up that 2 right there. That's what that is right there. Okay, so we get 69. Then we do the next interval, okay? So the midpoint right here, this is the midpoint, times 10. That 10 is this guy. It's the frequency. Okay, so we get that. Okay, so we keep doing that. So there's the third interval, the fourth interval, the fifth interval, and finally the sixth interval right there. Okay, and then what we do next is now we add these products. So we're going to add all these numbers right here and then divide it by the sum of these numbers right here. Okay, so the sum of these numbers is, is 100. We already know that. It's the 100 U.S. Senators. So we just take all the sum of these divided by 100, and that'll tell us the average age. Okay, there it is right there. So we get uh, 61.3. So a good estimate for the mean of this data is an age of 61.3 uh, years old. Golly, I'm going to be retired at that age, I think. Anyways, I got another eight and a half years. So anyways, here's the next one right here. So the same thing. So we're going to get the average of the intervals right there. So each interval divided by two times the frequency. Okay, gives us these numbers right here. Then we take the sum of these numbers divided by the sum of these numbers right here, which is 16 right there. Okay, and that's going to give us uh, 73.5. Now you can't do a golf score of 73.5, so a good estimate uh, for the mean golf score. Whoops, I forgot to put mean golf score right in here. I'm going to do that right now for uh, a mean uh, golf score. That's what goes right there. Okay, let me get a little arrow down there. Dun, 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 for a mean golf score. There we go. Uh, is uh, 73 or 74 right there. Okay, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Hey, if you're in my class, I'm going to have you work on that. Take care, you guys.